There are four major commodity crops in the global food market, maize, soybeans, wheat, and rice. Regions that produce a majority of the world's food supply are called breadbasket regions. The U.S. Midwest, the southern half of South America, the Black Sea region, and the Yangtze River Valley in China are all key breadbasket regions for commodity crops. When one or more of these regions experience a big weather event, such as flooding or a drought, a food shock occurs. The global food market feels it as the impact ripples. Recent examples of big of big shocks for specific commodities. There was, of course, the major drought in the U.S. in 2012, which heavily affected the global production of maize and soy. Rather than using sort of recent extreme events, we're going even further back into the record and using actually weather from the Dust Bowl from the 1930s in the U.S. as a proxy for what a really extreme event basically might look like in the future. The most damaging thing about the Dust Bowl is that it was coincident extreme events. So there was something like three major droughts in just the span of a six-year period. The worst drought of the Dust Bowl, which was 1936, if we got a year like that today, it would be about 50% worse than the drought of 2012, which would really be unprecedented level of devastation. The second interesting result is that these extreme droughts are highly sensitive to increasing temperature. So if we look into the near future, and we know that climate change is first of all going to make these severe temperature events, like happened in the 30s, more likely to occur. And we'll also make even hotter events more likely to occur. So if we look at what would happen if we had a dust bowl like the 1930s, but it was even slightly hotter, the conditions become rapidly worse with increasing temperature. So the moral of the story there is that extreme events are very, very sensitive to temperature at that high end of, of the temperature spectrum. And, and so we need to be really cautious as we're planning for a resilient system to extreme events in the future that we are very careful to account for increasing temperatures due to a rapidly changing climate.